This is Code.org. I'm working on CS Principles, their Data Tools Unit, Lesson 10, Reading Records, Puzzle 8. Reading records looping over the array. Ah, tricky. We can loop over the records array just like any other array to perform the action for every... to perform the... an action? Hmm. To perform an action for every object in the array. Recall that the standard way of doing this is to use a for loop. For example, if you had an array called records and each object in the array had a property called name, you could display every name in your array like this. Right. All right. So records and then I for the, well, it would start at zero in this loop. So that would be the zero index. So the object at zero, which in the movies one is avatar. Right. And then the dot name is just going to return its name. So this is the object right of whatever object is at in the records array at index of zero on the first loop through dot name and so the property's name so that object's name would be avatar all right okay so let's keep going do this starter code is provided for you which reads records from top movies table add a for loop to the callback function of the records command so but ah and added code to the to your for loop that displays only the title of every movie in the list hint to display the title of every movie inside the for loop use <laughs> that's a heck of a hint um all right so council log uh your output should look like yeah okay council log and then we are displaying a property a variable property so we don't need in quotes records and then i and dot uh, title and the reason this works is well right now it's only going to display four right because so i starts at zero and we drop into our loop and we grab the record at zero which the indices start at zero so the index at zero was the first one like we said that avatar so it grabs whatever object is at zero and says okay so the object at the zero index which will say one here and it says here's all the info on it and then we say no 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 just title dot title of that object give me the title and then we say okay and we get the title and we council log it we hit the bottom of the for loop i plus plus means add one to i so we do just that and i is now one the index of one which is actually going to be two since we started at zero it has all this info and we say okay this object dot title give me the title and we get titanic and then we go to three and we drop in and run again right or we go to two drop in and run again go to three drop in and run again so zero one two three means we've gotten or council log the titles of four items so far but then we go back around three plus plus so now it is four and we're done with this and we drop below and keep going so if we want to run put out 50 we can do two things we can put the number 50 here because that will only go to 49 and we have 0 to 45 and in 9 indices but we can also do instead of hard coding it dot length minus one because length always returns length when they count length it starts at zero so we need to subtract one to make it work for our indexes. Let's give this a shot. Oh, we don't need to subtract one because it's less than. Ah. My bad there. We can just do length. There we are. Ta-da! Let's keep going.